Good evening to all 12's parents. My name's Sam Callis. I'm here to discuss 13's media studies with you tonight. Apologies, I'm not doing this presentation in person. The family has come down with COVID, so we're struggling a little bit at the moment. So 13's media studies. We welcome your sons and daughters to take this subject next year for our hour period weekly, where we hope to pass on the skills needed to go on to take GCSE and A-level media studies. There are a variety of different disciplines involved in the subject, from analysing the media to the practical work involved with creating media texts. So in media studies, we study the media, obviously, media studies, mass communication, and we apply knowledge gained in the process of creating actual media products. We look at this from the perspective of both consumers, the audience, and producers, the creators. And I believe that media literacy is an absolute prerequisite for success in the 21st century for young people. The media influences them at every stage of their lives and is only going to develop. And because of that, we run a completely digital environment in the media studies department. Our lessons take place in the media suite, room 130 and 129, often called by the students the glass box, where each student will be given their own computer and they'll be working using online technology to create and to analyse media studies. So what is media studies? I mentioned earlier it's mass communication. It's the study of a variety of media forms and looking at how meaning is communicated to an audience. In terms of the course content, there will be no exam in 13's media studies. With only a single lesson a week, we decided that students instead will put together a portfolio of practical work by the end of the year that will go towards their final grade. Each major project in a variety of different media studies topics or texts will have a practical and written component. The 13th course has a really strong focus on the media product, so creating. We want to make it fun, but we also want to teach the students who opt to take the subject how to use the software that we have within the department so that they can go on and use this to a higher degree at GCSE. How does it prepare students for the GCSE? Well, the GCSE course is 70% exam and 30% practical. The analysis that the students go through gives them familiarity and understanding of conventions, the modes and communication for a variety of text types. And by text types, I mean particular media products such as a magazine, a game, a film, a TV show. Whatever the media text is, we will give them a deeper understanding to allow them to analyse and create. The major projects that students make give them excellent preparation for the coursework component of the GCSE course which is 30% of their final grade, both in the technical side of it, but also their understanding of the different software that we use, as I mentioned before. They will also gain a really good understanding of a variety of media forms. Uh, we cover at least seven or eight media forms across the year. The course structure has a different media for each term. So in the autumn term, we look at magazines and students will get to create their own magazines, which I'll show you a little bit more of in a second. In the spring term, we look at film production and film promotion, uh, the film cycle from from the conception to, to the realisation and the uh, distribution of the film. And in the summer term, we look and focus primarily on music videos. That's not to say we don't look at a variety of other media texts throughout the year to support these different core media texts. So the first term magazine covers, people study the codes and the conventions of magazines from a variety of different genres and they analyse front covers to help them with this. They get the, tour, the basics of Adobe Photoshop, a really good tool to have in life, including image manipulation, so their cover models look magazine ready, so it looks professional. Uh, and the major project, as I said, is a magazine front cover, which we've got an example of some of our students from this year who have taken the phot photography themselves. They've done some graphic design on the mastheads, on the titles, and they've manipulated the colour, the lighting, um, and I think they're fairly successful. Film promotion. People study film posters and film trailers in this topic where they'll again use Photoshop 
to develop their skills, but also they'll be using Adobe Premiere Pro, um, iMovie if necessary, but uh, we try and encourage the Premiere Pro, which is what they'll be using at GCSE, which is uh, a high-level, high-skilled editing software. And there are two major tasks in this unit. Pupils will come up with a concept for an original film, and then they have to create a trailer and a promotional campaign for it, including the poster. And finally, for the music video section of the course, pupils will learn the codes and conventions of music videos in this unit. They'll continue to develop their video editing skills using Adobe Premiere. And the final product is a music video for an existing song. All results and data are tracked across the year and shared with parents so you can keep track on how your son or daughter is doing. And we offer additional online support as well. We have a blog page as well as a Twitter page, which is constantly updated to support and extend their learning. We often encourage our sixth form students to come in and support the lessons as well. Sixth form students will have a, a good concept, good grasp of uh, the different software, and they're very happy to pass on these skills. We encourage healthy competition within the year. So all the different tasks that we set, students will be competing for the media star of the week where they'll try and uh, try and get given the captain media hat where they can uh, show off to their friends that they are the best of the week. So that summarizes the course across the year. I hope it answers a lot of your questions. If you've got any further questions, do email me on scullis at herodian.com. I'm very happy to take any questions or queries you have. Uh, and I just wanted to finish off by saying it's, it's going to be a really fun year. We look forward to, to seeing your child and hopefully uh, they opt for our course. Thank you very much.